In this tutorial, you are going to learn about the functionalities of the Market Tool in eBackpack. With the Market Tool, you can annotate or draw on top of almost any document. Students can use the Market Tool to complete homework, while the teacher's primary use is to grade and return student work. We'll start by navigating to a document on which we can practice our annotations. If you do not have a document, you can quickly create one by navigating to your My Files area, selecting the plus sign in the upper right, and choosing Create Note. Choose Save in the upper right, then select Done in the upper left. Now select your note from the My Files area, and tap the Mark it in the upper right. After choosing Mark it, the document is converted for use by our annotation tool. Toward the top of the screen, there are several options for marking your document. Tap the Text button, then tap anywhere on the document. You can now begin typing in text. When finished typing your text, either tap outside of the text box or close the keyboard. Tapping on the text again allows you to change the parameters of the text. Dragging any corner of the text allows you to resize your text box. You can choose how the text looks by selecting the style button. You may change the color of the text, the background color, the opacity, and you can even change the font, font size, and alignment of the text. The next tool is our pen tool. This tool allows you to draw directly on top of the document as if you were drawing directly on top of a normal piece of paper. Just like the text tool, the pen tool allows us to change the, how the annotations look. Toward the top right, there is a circle filled with a color. Tapping on the circle allows you to choose different styles for your marks. You can choose the color, the opacity, and the thickness. Use the eraser at the end of the toolbar to make changes to your marks. Additionally, there is an undo and redo button at the far end of the toolbar. Our next tool is the Shapes tool. The Shapes tool allows you to draw three basic shapes on top of your document. Tap and hold the box for a couple of seconds and select the shape you would like to draw. Similar to the Pen tool, the Shapes tool allows us to select the color, background color, opacity, and thickness. Next we have our highlighter. As you'd expect, the highlighter does exactly what the name implies. And just as before, you can change the color, fill color, opacity, and thickness with the default opacity set to 50%. Up next is our picture tool, which allows you to either take a photo or insert a photo you've already taken from your camera roll. The last tool is our stamps tool. This tool gives teachers commonly used stamps for grading purposes. Simply re select your stamp, then resize and drag it to your necessary location. The stamp tool also allows you to create custom stamps by choosing the custom button at the bottom of the screen. Tapping done in the upper right deselects any tool you may have selected. You can delete or move individual annotations simply by tapping the annotation and choosing the appropriate action. To save your annotations, tap Save in the upper right. To overwrite the existing document, select Save Here. Select Save Here As to create a new separate document or pick a location if you want to save the document in another location or to share it with students.